Hello everybody, my name is Peter and welcome to Almahara Diving Center. Today we are going to talk about the intermediate pressure and what it means for specification of diving regulators. So we have here a full tank with a regulator um, connected and you can see here already on this pressure gauge we have 200 bar which is so to say a full tank full um, loaded tank and that is quite a lot yeah because normally when you try to compare it for instance with a car tire you have only 2.5 bar in there so this 200 bar is actually a little bit too much for using it comfortably for breathing so therefore we have here in this first stage um, a limiter which is reducing this full pressure of the tank into an intermediate pressure. This intermediate pressure is usually defined by manufacturers and they can go <coughs> between something like 9 to 10 bar usually 9.5, some they have something like 9.8 bar, anyway. So for checking, for checking this one, you can have an intermediate pressure gauge and you can easily connect it to the inflator hose. So the hose which is going to the inflator valve of your BCD. There are some nice connections for this one and you can easily connect it even with pressure on, yeah? then you need only a little bit more power. And you can see here, this intermediate pressure on this regulator is just on 9 bar. So this intermediate pressure is quite important for the regulators you want to breathe from, these ones here. Yeah. If the intermediate pressure is too high, then maybe these regulators will start free-flowing. They will not holding, they will not be able to hold pressure because then this intermediate pressure they are designed for is too high. On the contrary, when this intermediate pressure is getting too low, that means the breathing, the breathing work pressure is going to be too weak that means it will be too hard to breathe like the tank the tank is going to be empty so now if you're going to watch this instrument here and see me breathing on this regulator the intermediate pressure goes down but it stabilizes coming back to nine bar so that means here this regular this intermediate stage or that means the in the first stage itself is adjusted to the right intermediate pressure now instead of having this little test equipment here which you can easily carry with you and take it on every regulator you may have or you may rent in any other dive center so you can connect this one easily and check whether the intermediate pressure is correct or not. In workshops itself, you may have uh, the possibility where bigger instruments, like here, which we are calling a uh, magnahelic breathing station. You can connect a regulator here, then you can connect, um, then you have a tank pressure, and you can feed the full pressure of 200 bar and then also you can feed a, a low pressure of something like 20 bar and see the intermediate pressure on this kind of instrument. That is for workshops but for you and your own safety or your own peace of mind a little instrument like this could ensure that you have an equipment with the right intermediate pressure. Thank you very much. Hi divers. 
If you want to learn more about how to troubleshoot or put your preventative maintenance into action, we have a patio equipment specialist webinar coming up. Please remember, this doesn't replace your equipment being serviced by a certified technician. Always follow the manufacturer's guideline. Have a good time. So we look forward to seeing you next time on Divers Technician Series. Don't forget to subscribe and like us on below.